Thank you for being here. Uh, you know how much I love you. Congratulations yeah, on Terminal. I love you. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Uh, what, the movie's beautiful. Where did you shoot this movie? The movie was shot in Budapest. Mm. In uh, both Buddha and Pest. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. Uh, not at the same time. And, uh, no, not at the same time. Although soon we'll have that technology. Yeah. Um, stars Margot Robbie. She also produced it. I love She's Margot Robbie. Fantastic. She's very. Yeah, yeah. I would say that's a good and, adjective. Uh, She's a brilliant actress, brilliant producer. We had so much fun. And uh, what would you guys do? To, like, she's been on the show a bunch of times. She is a blast. Yeah. yeah. She's not who you think she's going to be, right? No. I mean, just, I'm, you're a little, I get a little afraid of her. because I I'm, was terrified of her. Right? A little intimidating. Because, you know, I really haven't traded on my looks in my career. <laughs> or my sexiness. Uh, maybe a little bit. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> thank you. You're very kind. <laughs> No one is applauding. Mm -hmm. No one is no, applauding. No, dude. <laughs> All I'm saying is that when a man is young, he should wear a lot of mascara, and when he's older, he should wear even more. All right, that's very, that's great advice. Um, she's very, very fun. Yeah. And uh, she would have these parties, and I was like, I don't know, I'm, can I go to a Margot Robbie party? You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, yeah, like, yeah. My, my wife Kelly came out, which was uh, fun, and my son Spy came out, and uh, she introduced me to the joys of daytime drinking. Which I hadn't really done. Usually that's a nighttime thing. And oh, really? We went to this, she threw a party in the park with all these like Soviet statues and stuff. And she was, I got there late. Kelly and I got there late. And she's like, Mike, how are you? And I was like, she's more like Russell Crowe than I, than I thought. <laughs> she's very Australian. I had no idea. Because I only ever saw her in the scenes, you know? And, uh, uh, yeah, and she, she was just fantastic. And she said to my wife, Kelly, where are you from? And my wife, who's from Boston, said, I'm from Boston. And she said, I, uh, I think that Americans don't know how to drink. And that was enough for my wife, Kelly, who's a Boston Irish and Italian. <laughs> she's she's and like, let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go. I'm from Boston, dude. So don't mess with Boston. They started to have, like, shotguns, which I'd never really done before, but with this huge can of, like, Budapest beer, which... Is so strong. I Margot think Robbie shotgunning beers with your wife? She did like I'm on. This is number thirteen, right? <laughs> and it's like thirteen, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, <laughs> sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, Dean. <laughs> so she was blasted it, and this this beer is so strong it could take off Sharpie off a marble table. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. I know that stuff. And yeah. I was just like. <laughs> I, I, like, got two sips, and I was like, this really, this isn't really something we should do, is it, really? <laughs> yeah. The, and my wife, Kelly, got, like, halfway through, and then she said, blah, she didn't throw up, but it yeah, all spread yeah. out, and so she really? was like, balls, I could do ten more. Right? Really? So yeah, Margot Robbie out there? Fantastic. Outright? We were How like, fun. oh, my God, you're you got to do that awesome. when Margot comes on next. Oh, yeah, she, you should. And, uh, well, what sorry, you... Margot. No. <laughs> she's no, the she's best. super fun. She's great. Just, what do you do when, because this, this is a movie where it's, you didn't write this, you're not, uh, Directing yeah, I, it, so you, what do you do in like off time? Like well, when you, well, I would I because usually, like with Austin Powers and, and Wayne's World, like I'm in every scene. Well, no, thank you. <laughs> what? 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 Moi? <laughs> Was I in that? Um, mm. People accuse me of being over dramatic, and I go, Moi? <laughs> um, I usually have no time whatsoever, but I had tons of downtime. That's so fine. I was like, I did stuff on, you know, they have garage band for the phone. I wrote whole songs and stuff. <laughs> I'd have like water balloon fights with people. And, and it was, they're lovely. This crew is so much fun in, in Budapest. They, you know, they would laugh at my attempts at, at Hungarian. They always thought I sounded like, you sound like the number one comedian who does a KGB character. Because I would be like, Nyetva, Zarva. And they'd be like, oh, get him to say it again. <laughs> But sometimes their accents were a little rough, so we were doing the balloon thing, and they go, Mike, I don't want you to do the ballon war. And I go, what's the ballon? Oh, balloon war. <laughs> the ballon. I don't, don't want, want you to do, do the ballon war. I don't do the ballon war, no more of that. So I, I had enough time, by the way, to make an entire film on my phone while we were making the phone. So I'd go into the makeup trailer, and I would cover myself in blood, and I, I made a zombie apocalypse movie. <laughs> On my phone. And we are going to debut it tonight, here this on the is, Tonight. This is, this is very, very cool. That's me setting the, up my clip for this, my own iPhone movie. <laughs> but anyways, that will not be released. This is the premiere of Mike Myers' zombie apocalypse movie. Check this out. If you get this tape, they're here. They're here.
I'm at Zombie Craft Services. The food's very good. I had the pork, but they're coming. I'm just gonna have something to eat, probably. I'm gonna fill up on the rice because I've had a little bit of an upset stomach, you know, because of the whole zombie apocalypse thing. But they're coming. <laughs> See Shrek 4. <laughs> Always working. Wait, what? Always working. It was a... That was a commercial for Shrek 4. Oh, my gosh. See, I'm not... always working. You're oh, always oh, working. This kid always working. working. Yeah. Let's talk about uh, your new movie, Terminal. Can you, sure. Can you tell everyone what it's about? Well, I'm not um, uh, really awesome at setting up the clips. It's not something I'm really good at. But do you, you want me to set up? Sure. Try. Okay. Uh, Terminal is a sexy, mysterious thriller with many twists and turns. And I play a peculiar night supervisor of a subway terminal in a dark and mysterious city. There's much more to him than meets the eye. Interesting. Can you tell us anything else? In the dark of a sprawling anonymous city, Terminal follows the twisting tales of two assassins carrying out a sinister mission. Really? Yeah. Yeah. A teacher battling a fatal illness, an enigmatic janitor, and a curious waitress leading a dangerous double life. Wow. <laughs> then what happens? Murderous consequences so unravel, unravel in the, the dead, dead of the night, night as their lives all intertwine at the hands of mysterious, mysterious criminal mastermind hell bent on revenge. When's it coming out? Er, uh, um, <laughs> I can't remember. Oh, yeah, release date's May 11th. Then, uh, now that is how you huh? set up a movie. Huh? Terminal! Uh huh. On and on and on. Uh, I said. And it's on and on and on.